We hope you enjoy this little video we put together for you and you find it educational and informative. What do Brazil's researchers know about cell tower radiation and cancer that your doctor won't tell you? The Brazilian Society for Progress Science looked at all incidences of cancer deaths, prostate, breast, lung, kidneys and liver cancer that they knew could be related to EMF exposure in the town of Belo Horizonte in Brazil. The researchers looked at the period between 1996 and 2006 and mapped cancer deaths to the locations of victims' homes relative to 300 cell towers in the city. What they discovered was startling to say the least. 81% of people who died in the city from the known EMF-related cancers within the 10-year period lived within 500 meters of a cell tower. 4,924 deaths were of people living within 500 meters, and a total of 7,191 within 1,000 meters. Researcher and engineer, Adil Zark and Dessa Dode, PhD, said, These levels are already high and dangerous to human health. The closer you live to an antenna, the greater the contact with the electromagnetic field. The following chart shows this in more detail. Distance from towers related to cancer deaths. This chart shows distance from towers relating to the number of cancer deaths. Pause video here to take a good look or you can see it on our website under blogs. Researcher Dode also made a statement about mobile phones themselves. The power emitted by the cell phone is continuous and exacerbated by the position of the antennas that are directed toward the user's brain. Dode went on to recommend more restrictive laws, such as those employed in Switzerland and Italy, relating to cell tower outputs and proximity to housing. She also said that current legislation, setting emission limits for electromagnetic radiation, is not based upon health criteria, but solely upon industrial, economic and technological criteria. Dode also recommended the use of a cellular headset, to keep the unit away from the body, and to ban the use of mobiles by children, and in places such as schools and hospitals. We would add to Dode's recommendations, that if you live anywhere near a tower that you have at least one PE bell in the house, and that if you use a cell phone to make or receive calls regularly, you use a ruddy safe cell protector. Thanks for watching, we will continue to produce these videos. If you've got any feedback for us or you want us to create, create new ones on any particular subject, please get in touch. Bye now.